Right, this video is for my A-level students uh, learning how to use this uh, command in the uh, pick instruction set. It's so it's um, a decrement file skip if zero. So we need to understand what this does. I'm going to use it to count down from ten to zero. Uh, first of all, uh, you can see that I've uh, I've procedurized that, so that's a subroutine of, of its own uh, with a return as well. And then I call countdown. So uh, I've got the label countdown, and then it's going to execute that code. And um, looking inside the subroutine, you'll see that we refer to temp. Got an equate for temp. So temp is going to equate to the hexadecimal number of 0c. And uh, where are we there? OK, so uh, what's this do? First line is going to move a literal value. That's decimal 10. That's why I start with the uh, the full stop, because the dot there, the decimal point there, is then saying that that's going to be a decimal number and not so binary number or hex number. Um, so that's going to load 10 into the uh, working file register. And then I move the contents of the working file register into the file temp. And then I'm going to decrement uh, temp and then f means that I'm going to, so I'm going to decrement temp, which means let's say it's loaded with 10, I decrement it. The result is 9 and then f means and I'm going to save it back into the file. The alternative to that will be w, which means I'm going to save it into the, the result of decrementing, I'm going to save it into working register and leave temp unchanged. I don't want that. <coughs> I want it saved back into the file. Um, so uh, it's then if the result of decrementing by one is zero, so skip if zero, it means skip the next instruction. So um, if it's not zero, then it will execute the next instruction, which is going to go to current program uh, counter minus one. In other words, it's going to go to the previous instruction. Um, if the result of decrementing term is zero, then it will skip the next instruction. So then it will jump to return and then it will return to where it's called. So um, we want to monitor the value that's held in term. So window. Um, we need to find target memory views. Uh, temp is going to be stored just in the file registers area. I don't like it down there. I'm going to dock it on the right hand side. And we said that, if you remember, we said that temp equates to a number of 0c. And so 0c there. And so uh, other things we might want to monitor as well. Window target memory views, uh, special function registers, and then we'll be able to monitor the working register as well. So let's have a break. Oh, let's just stop this. It's still running. Let's have a break. Breakpoint, and then let's just run this. So for the special function registers, you'll see that um, working register is currently zero. And so we're at that point, we're about to call countdown. So let's press F7. We're now in countdown. The next instruction to execute is going to be this move a literal value of 10 into the working register. Now notice working register is currently zero. So let's do F7. And now we've got 10 in the working file register, which is uh, 10 is uh, in hexadecimal is expressed as A. Notice the zero C is uh, currently initialized as um, or empty, it's zero. Let's press F7, so we're now going to move the working register into temp, so press F7, and you'll see that uh, A went up to that register there, that was copied to that file register. And then, so the next thing we're going to decrement whatever's in temp, so decrement this register here, so we're going to decrement A, or denary 10 by 1, which will give us 9. And then store it back in that uh, store it back in that register. So let's press F7. Sure enough, um, A now is 9. 
uh, and as a result it's not zero it's now executed or it's now gone to the next line to be executed and I'll press F7 goes back so the next thing that is going to be is that nine is going to be decremented by one and it's going to be stored back in temp which will leave us with eight so press F7 so now we've got eight um, eight is not zero so it doesn't skip the next instruction so we go to next instruction press F7 and etc etc so let's just keep on jumping through these till we get down to a lower number so now we're on one we're about to go to uh, decrement file skip of zero so let's go there now we've got one remember so when we um, decrement one we're going to end up with zero and when we end up with zero we're going to then skip the next instruction so let's try that and sure enough it jumped the next instruction we're now at the return notice um, that is now zero as it should have been press f7 and uh, yeah, we return to uh, the next instruction. Okay, that's it.